morning. Here we are. Tuesday, August 27th, 2024. I'm Larissa. This is my video diary. Hmm. Yeah. And time has come. The time has come to drink from skulls. Oh, had a couple weird dreams. Oh my goodness. Last night, or yesterday, not last night, the night before, I had this dream. I had this dream that I was, that Paris Hilton was living in this house with me and Omar. That she and I decided we were going to get an apartment. And when moving into this apartment, she wanted to paint everything pink. And I had to tell her no, to not paint the whole apartment pink. <laughs> Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ridiculous. Silliness. Total silliness. Paris Hilton. <laughs> I was like, no. I said, how about we paint it taupe and gray? And you can have pink highlights. But if you want all pink, you can paint your room all pink, but not the whole apartment. I said, my room will be my color. I want it to be. Oh my gosh. So funny. Yeah. So this morning, last night, I dreamt that I was riding the bus. So when I was a senior in high school, my spring break, my friend Emily and I went and stayed with my grandparents and went down to Pittsburgh to go to the Warhol Museum. It was the worst spring break. All my friends got to go places, like really got to go on vacation. But not me. Not me. It's like the story of my fucking life. Oh, well, I mean, this is not that big of a deal. But anyway, we ended up coming back early because the trip was so fucking lame. Ugh. Anyway, when we were there, we took the, taking the bus from Monroeville down into Pittsburgh. I have a walk around down Pittsburgh. So in this dream, I was on the, the Monroeville line to downtown Pittsburgh. The one that picks, picks you up down at the Monroeville Mall. So, I was on this bus, and I was going to work. Really weird. Really weird dream. On. And I was talking on the phone, on the bus, talking on the phone to my sister, Rachel. Which I don't want to talk to my sister, Rachel. My sisters, my sisters have never, ever been anything but awful to me. Growing up, you know, I when I had to babysit them, they were horrendous. And then they, they were particularly the youngest one, but both of them. So like when, I mean, Rachel always, the middle one, Rachel, she always wanted to follow me around everywhere. And my mother was like, I had to let her play with me and my friends. And it was obnoxious, right? And then the the the, the youngest one, like she was really, really bad. So when I'd be left to babysit, when my mom would leave, then she would just like act up and be horrible. And then when my mom would come home, she would talk about how I was so awful to her. And then I'd get, I'd get beaten. I'd get spanked. I'd get beaten and punished. I hated taking care of, I hated my sisters. I hated taking care of them. They were awful. And they would tattle on me for anything and everything. It was always like trying to get Larissa in trouble. They both got to do whatever the fuck they wanted. You know, you know, I, I had to pay for everything. I always had to have jobs and shit. They never had to have a job or do anything, right? Like, they got horses and solid silver flutes and got to go to space camp and all this shit. And I never got to do anything. And as adults, 
you know, it was just always the same. And, you know, they wanted to go to daddy's school. They went to daddy's college and ass kisses. And they both live back in Pittsburgh. My sisters are awful. They really are. They were spoiled brats. And they have never been friends of mine as adults. They've been horrible. Yeah. So I'm glad to not be in their lives or have them in mine. <laughs> you know, some people, they have siblings and they're friends, right? Like they're siblings, they grow up together and they're the best friends or whatever. No, my siblings were always my worst enemy. They're always my worst enemy. They were goody, goody two shoes. And, and you know, the, you know they, my parents paid for them to have their own damn apartments and stuff. And me, I wasn't, ugh. My parents paid for them to have their own fucking apartments. I, I don't want anything to do with my family. My family has always treated me like garbage. They always have. Yeah. So, like... I finally gave up wanting to have a healthy relationship, wanting to have a relationship with my family. Because the only type of relationship that it's possible to have with my family for, you know, is for them to abuse me. And um, so when I gave that up, when I gave up wanting relationship, you know, going back to be abused over and over again, it's very liberating. It really is. Um And that's just the way my family is, you know? So it's like, if I'm not there to be the one that's abused, I wonder who it's going to be. It'll probably be my nephew, right? It'll probably be him. Whatever. Sorry. Sorry for you, dude. It sucks. That's the way they are. They pick one and then they abuse them, right? You become the scapegoat. You become the one that everything gets piled onto, right? Right? So it's like, I'm really glad to not have children to have to be part of that dysfunctional system and abusive system because, you know, it would be then always comparison to other, the other grandkids or whatever, because that's the way it always was um, when I was growing up. And, you know, as much as my mother complained about the way my father's family treated him, she is 10 times worse. She is 10 times worse. So, you know, so glad. So glad. So glad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. We got everything into the new space. Those assholes had in tempest. Like, there's like new charges posted to your account. I'm like, what the fuck for, assholes? They're awful. I, I, I don't know. Like, we're going to court. <laughs> we're going to court. We're going to court. <laughs> He's a little worm. Really is a little worm. Oh my god. Yeah. He's a worm. I'm done having wormy, shitty people in my life. 
he thinks. I don't know what the fuck he thinks, but he's not getting a dime out of me. Yeah. Now I gotta reinstall all my artwork and set up my new space. <laughs> Yesterday, so to get the last things out, I'm trying to move the fuck out. There's a bunch of people, like they, a handful of people come by, they're like, ah. And I'm just like, oh, what happened? It's just like, what is wrong with you people? This one couple, this woman, woman has been so rude to me. Her dog has a skin, has a food allergy of some sort, some sort of skin allergy and has arthritis and always wants Reiki and like throws a fit, like throws a temper tantrum, flops down, doesn't want to move, plays dead, right? Trying to, trying to stay. And I have explained to her, your dog is here for Reiki. This is a service I offer, blah, 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 blah. And she just like pretends like she doesn't hear. And then they want me to give them time when I'm trying to move out. It's like, fuck you. You didn't pay me. You didn't want to pay for my services. Don't come in here and act like you're a mommy or something. She She's and she's not, she's not that much older than me. I'm just like this is this is the one who had the son whose coach wouldn't give him minutes, and it was his senior year. Boo hoo! And they won and everything. They won the championship, but he didn't get minutes. And it was his senior year. I'm just like, shut the fuck up. She's and I was the team mom. Where I'm like, get out of here, you entitled cow. I thought she was going to, like, tell me some horrible, horrible thing had happened. And I was like, what's the matter? And she tells me this. And I'm like, this is what you are all pouty and wow. Wow. I, you know, it's not that I, um, when I talk about my, you know, my, my parents paying for my sister to, sisters to do things. It's like, why did... It's not like they go like, I didn't get to go to space camp. Oh, a lot of kids don't. But it's like, why did they get to go and I didn't? Right? Why was I forced to work four jobs so that Mary could have a horse? Right? And Rachel could have an apartment at Pitt. Doesn't seem right. Right? Seems like maybe they should have had to work too. But no. Mm -mm. Oh. Right. Mm. Yeah. So happy to be out of Saratoga. That community is really, really deranged. The whole fucking community. It's the whole fucking community. It's the culture of the area there. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, we're, tr we're trying to get stuff in the truck. Did Not offering to help. Not offering to help or anything, but wants to tell me about, oh, I lost my job and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, boo fucking who, dude. Boo fucking who. <laughs> and one of the ones that came in and was like, oh, you need to start serving coffee in here or something. I'm like, get the fuck out of my store. And I said to him, I said, I hope you get whatever coffee shop or booze shop or whatever it is you people over here want. And he's like, oh, don't be bitter. I said, I'm not bitter. Don't, <laughs> totally 
totally mistaken, totally mistaken, totally mistaken my disgust at his myopic self-absorption. For bitterness. No, I'm just disgusted. Just disgusted. Boo-hoo, dude. Boo-hoo. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Drink my tea, get moving, and have a nice, be nice to Larissa day.